So this is going to be my prediction for episode 3, and it's called... So today's video is going to be my review of The Ones Who Live, so... And also, I really enjoyed how Rick and Michonne reunite and stuff and with that. I really loved it. It was very emotional and stuff, so... Yeah, um, I will try to link the playlist for The Ones Who Live. It does shows all my reactions, all my reviews, predictions, and other topics about it. But, yeah, my overall... I have really enjoyed it. There was just some hiccups and stuff that... I did not like, but overall, I really enjoyed it. I mean, they really done what they said it was based off a of love story with Rick and Michonne and about the CMR and stuff. And, but yeah, I really enjoyed like episode one and episode two. The fact is episode one was based off on Rick. And his journey and the Civic Republic with the CMR and stuff. And with him trying so many times having to try to escape. Even cut off his arm and stuff. And like watch him really be in a dark place and wants to give up and stuff. And I really enjoyed uh, Uncle Four. I was quite sad to killing him off very fast. But I liked him. I mean, he give Rick... Give Rick hope and that give him good thing and I really enjoy how he wanted with Rick and Pearl Thorn. Um I'll get to Pearl Thorn in a minute but Rick um uh, Uncle Four had this plan that he wanted to make the CMR better because he kinda didn't like how it was. But yeah, I really like him and Rick really good and so stuff. We're gonna talk about Pearl Thorn. At the beginning I kind of liked her. She was an okay character and stuff. She had that sass and stuff. Like, she had some, like, a similar background with Rick. Like, I don't know if she has tried to attempt to escape. I don't think she has. But she learned the fact to accept her faith that she's not going to be leaving and stuff. But, so when Okafor had died, she took his, without her shot, like, throughout what she was... Especially, like, towards the end, it felt like she had a big head and I think she's better than people because she was right, uh, um, higher rank. And you can especially tell that was when she, when Michonne came to see him or just how she really did not like Rick at all. I mean, not Rick, but Michonne at all. And I'm assuming the fact she... What I'm getting at was how she did not like Rick because of how Rick really wanted to get Michonne on their good side. Like how Okafort did him and Pearl Thorn. Yeah, and you just seen my she Pearl Thorn done with a scene with the, all the zombies and how she did not want Michonne to do nothing like just do the basics and stuff. And she played a whole shame moment to try to kill her and stuff because she just didn't like how much shame. Yeah, I mean, it's just overall crazy and stuff. And with her character dying, I mean, I just think she just like an overall with Pearl Thorn. She hoped for force plan, and then when he died. And she got ranked up and, like I said, took his spot. She got, like, a big head about it. But, yeah, um, with that, um, the next one are the groups that Michonne came across of when she exited the main show. And then with, uh, Nat, like, all the characters from Once Who Live, uh, Nat was my favorite character. And I was really, really sad that and mad that they killed him off. But, you know. I would like to see more of him and stuff, but I really enjoyed his character. Just how the fact how the actor played him, he was really good. And I was quite sad that he got killed off, but yeah. Um, Major General, he was, I think they just hyped him up too much. And I was quite disappointed in his character, but when he was on it, he was very okay. Especially in the finale, I really enjoyed it. And he got sad he got killed off, but... That was in the finale was wonderful and stuff. So yeah, um, Jadis's character, 
I don't know, like, Jada's character was, is one of the weird, uh, odd lot of it. I really didn't like her, and, with all that stuff, but, World Beyond get, like, what they have done for her, and then especially in Once to Live, had set her up as a villain was, and she done wonderful in episode five when she got killed bent by a walker and stuff and she played great and i really enjoyed her but i mean she just had that over rick's head that if he tried to leave she threatened to blow up alexander and stuff like that but and i like episode four is because of the moment between rick and michonne and seeing how much the CMR has affect Rick and stuff. And how he mentions calls and stuff. That really emotional. And I really like the fact that Carl was mentioned in this show a lot and stuff. So it was quite cool. And with the finale with Rick and Major Jeremy. Um, had that discussion about what was the worst thing you've done. Who was the most person that had killed off and then we seen these all these flashbacks through prison the sanctuary thing with the people in season five of someone seeing him bit that guy's throat out we seen him doing the negan scene and with all these and even like the shit scene was him killing shane it was really cool the fact of the finale that they you got Throughout that episode, you got so many flashback-wise, so, yeah, but other than that, I really like how they ended off was, of Rick and Michonne, Rhea and I with Judith and RJ, um, that was the main ones I wanted them, if Rick and Michonne had, especially Rick, if he got any reunited with anybody, was Rick and, uh, RJ and Judas and stuff. And it also was interesting when he found out about RJ. Yeah, I'm just hoping that this is not an ending book chapter for Rick and Michonne. I wish there was some other way that they can be back. Um, it, and stuff like that. But I don't know. But I wanted to have Rick reunited with everybody like um daryl and maury and carol and stuff like that but i'm just happy that he at least got one with judas and rj so yeah so that is my review and i want to hear your guys' thoughts about it in the description below and i will check you guys out in my next video <laughs>